Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Hope you are having a fantastic day. We are finally back. It is fall. The beach parking lot is dead empty and we are back with a beautiful view of the ocean. And like the title and thumbnail says, believe it or not, we are at a full one year since we took delivery of the C8 Corvette. Not quite, but very close. It was built in October of 2020. We took delivery at the beginning of November in 2020. So we're about two weeks away from the full one year mark. And boy, has it been one of the best automotive years of my life. And I thought it was important to take some time in today's video to talk about what it's like having the C8 Corvette for a full year, talk about all the ins and outs. Most YouTube reviews are somebody that goes to a dealership and takes the car and does a review or somebody that goes to a press event and takes the car and does a review. But I personally love watching reviews where it's somebody that's owned the car. I think they can speak a little bit more to it than just a generic reviewer can. And as always, if you haven't, definitely check out some of the other videos on the channel. There's a ton of videos that I made with this car over the year, more than I did with the Raptor, more than I did with the TRX that we still have on the channel. Because the hype around this car is actually what made this channel. It's what got me past the 1,000 subscriber count mark. It's what built a base around Jump Squad Auto. And I have to say, I'm humbled and grateful. And I always will be to see a Corvette Squad, even if I don't have this car on the channel for some time. The reason why I'm jumping the gun and making this video a week early is because, well, stay tuned in the future for that. There is a ton of stuff happening in the next couple of weeks, maybe in, within the next month around Corvette. So you don't want to miss any of that action. The dude out there enjoying the beautiful ocean waters. He's got his boat, we have our C8 Corvette, so let's jump into today's video. Most of my videos maybe only have about two minutes or so of watch time, but if there's one thing you can take away from this video, everyone that has a C8, anyone that's ever had a Corvette, I think can attest to this. And the best way I can sum up one year with this car is it's not about the price, it's not about the way it looks or drives per se, it's about how the car makes you feel. And in all honesty, I've never had a car that's made me feel as amazing and as awesome as the C8 Corvette does, and I think that is, if anything, the one thing you take away from this video, is the fact that the C8 Corvette is that special. And so what is it like having this car for one full year? It is absolutely amazing. Even after one full year, the allure is still there, the awesomeness is still there. I still get into this car and it just blows me away how amazing it is, the attention that it gets, the ride quality, the practicality, all coming at the knowledge that this costs a mere fraction of anything that's comparable. And yeah, I know some people have had Corvettes that have had issues, but we've been lucky on the channel. Apart from the windshield getting dinged really early and the seats having some premature wear, there's been very little negative to say about this car. And I should start with a little bit of background info. We are at about 5,800, 5,900 miles in the car, which is definitely not a ton but it is a lot for somebody that doesn't have a daily commute and this isn't their daily vehicle starting off at the front i don't run the front license plate i think it really makes the car not look great i've installed the protectors for the mesh i think that's a design flaw they really need to do something different over there lambos and ferraris have a smaller mesh vent there and the c8 doesn't unfortunately maybe it's general motors first time into this mid-engine soiree and they take a beating so that's really the only negative up front headlights are fantastic it's a low riding car no fog lights but because of how low it is the headlights do a great job of cutting through any fog or any rain really no complaints there the race helmet in case you guys didn't see the drag strip day video but overall the frunk one of the best things about this car it makes it practical over any other mid-engine car nice map pockets that they give you up and around front and what's best about this is the depth there's a lot of other mid-engine cars think of the aventador and the huracan where they have frunks but they're not very deep you can get bags from general motors that will fit straight up right in here and you'd have full-size carry-on bags that you can fit in just the frunk alone and this is great for groceries you can put a couple gallons of milk it won't move around and get your entire weeks of groceries in here without having to use the rear storage area which we'll get into a little later in the video i should say in terms of other issues the hood was rubbing i have that in one of the other videos if you follow the channel you'll get a little bit more views of when that was happening the dealer adjusted that and it works fine when i first took delivery of the car the fenders were a little mismatched i'm going to chalk that up too first year build quality issues after having ordered and gone through the ram trx process can comfortably say my tolerance level for first model year vehicle issues is much higher and for a c8 being such a drastically changed platform than its C7 predecessor, it's amazing how reliable and well put together General Motors has made the C8. Coming along the side, I love the side profile of the car. Important to note, the fin does stick out a lot, so that's one kind of paint point that I've noticed. If there was ever a car that needed vertical doors, the C8 Corvette is it. I hope General Motors does that someday in a higher performance variant. 
Because if you look at it from the driver's perspective, when you're opening the door, you have no visibility on how far that fin sticks out. And so I've noticed a couple times on the passenger side, I'm very careful about it. But I have had people on the passenger side that have opened it up thinking that they're looking at like this portion of the door as the farther outermost point and trying not to hit the car next to them. And then they've just barely nicked the car right there. So overall, I think that fin sticking out is a little bit of a pain point. I think in 2023's redesign, they have reworked the body blade on this side. I don't know if it's as pointy on the door itself, but it'll be interesting to see how they do that going forward. The doors open very wide. There's a ton of clearance for you to get in. I do nick my foot on here sometimes if I'm in a tight space, specifically in my own driveway. Door sill is overall great. It's not very wide. I've sat in some other mid-engine cars before, and it's amazing how narrow the frame tub actually is that allows for easy entry and exit, which again speaks to how practical of a mid-engine car this is. In terms of the interior, fantastic. Nothing really negative to speak of. Some wear and tear on the seats that's a little bit premature, but it, I think that's to come with supple and soft seats. I apologize that the car is a little dirty. I do use this car a lot. In terms of the interior, again, fantastic. Like I said, it's not about how expensive the car is. It's really not about what the car looks like, but it's what it makes you feel like. And just the fit and finish of the materials makes this one of the best cars that I've ever owned. And quite frankly, I think I will own because anything that's better than this is going to come at a drastically higher price point. I've grown accustomed to loving the flat bottom steering wheel. I love the paddles, the way they feel, and the DCT is hands down the number one thing that I love about the C8 Corvette. Coupled with the comfort factor, the passenger side is a little bit claustrophobic. I've had people get in here that have said that it's a little tight on that side. One other thing I've never mentioned is, again, these buttons got a lot of flack early on, but I do genuinely love the center console layout. All the passenger side controls point to the passenger side. If you look closely, the seats for the passenger side controls face the passenger seat, whereas my driver controls face me. And it's great that they made the passenger side controls at the bottom because this is definitely the hardest place to reach. Easier for the passenger, a little bit more difficult for the driver. But the true money shot for anyone that owns a C8 Corvette is right there. It's the ability to be able to see the engine. It's one thing that I love about the coupe, even though I want an HTC the next go around. No question, you can't replace the ability to see an engine right behind you like this. Coming around to the back, in case you haven't seen the tips video, you can open this up about three or four more inches on top of what it normally opens up to. I love the engine bay. I love the way everything is laid out over here. I think the appearance package really puts a nice touch to it. Hands down, this, all of this was my biggest concern for a lot of reason. Number one being reliability. Mid-engine cars sometimes are difficult in terms of reliability, but GM has a battle-tested platform here. The carbon fiber is high quality. On a car at this price point, with carbon fiber this close to heat being exposed on the regular, is this stuff going to start to fade and warp? And I can say after one year, this stuff is flawless and mint. Now, I did have it ceramic coated. The water getting in here is not a problem. It's so easy to keep clean. It's a little dusty and dirty now, but I haven't washed the car in almost two weeks. And everything in here has held up. I've had new cars that have shown signs of surface rust on a lot of the metallic components, specifically the heat shield for the catalytic converters and the headers, but not a shred of surface rust here, let alone actual rust, which I think puts at ease a lot of people that had concerns around the mid-engine platform. In terms of rear storage, absolutely love it. The low wing makes it really easy to get the Targa top in here. We'll speak to that in a minute too. But lots of space. You don't really want to put groceries in here if it's far away. It does get a little warm in here, which is the one negative that I have. Can I take a picture of your car? Yeah, go for it. That is the one thing that never gets old with the C8. So many people know what this car is, truly appreciate it. But people that don't know what this car is, I just got approached by two super awesome people. They just want to take a picture next to the car and you can't beat that. They knew exactly what it was. I can't tell you how many times I've been asked, is this a Ferrari or is this a Lambo? Because that's the class that this is competing in. And for this price point, it cannot be beat. Now I live about a mile from the grocery store, but every time I go to get groceries, for some reason, I don't know why, I think my odometer is broken. It's a 30 mile trip to the grocery store, even though it's a mile away. And I know I take the long way home, but really a 30 mile long way home, that's what the C8 Corvette will do to you. Fantastic storage space, long term, if you have your luggage, you have your clothes, you have your bags that don't have perishables in them, tremendous amounts of storage space and that's the one thing like McLarens that you get or some Lambos, it cuts off here and the extra length makes this so much more practical, a lot more balanced, just a fantastic car overall. And no question, my favorite shot right here is the money shot. This is the mid-engine car. This is what all the craze and hype had been about and still to this day is because of how hard it is to get your hands on this car. Tires are wearing fine. I have probably about three quarters to half life left on these tires and I'm at about 6,000 miles. 
And so 15,000 miles shouldn't be an issue. Some people were saying only good for 10,000 miles. Some people were saying 20. I expect somewhere around 15, especially since I kind of drive it in the winter or did with the summer tires, which I wasn't supposed to, but it was just so hard. When I got this car, I just wanted to drive it nowhere, go for 20 mile road trips to nowhere and come back home for no reason. And after a year, the most amazing thing, if you can take one thing away from this video on top of what I said earlier, is a full year later, this car still emits that amount of childish excitement out of me. And I think no car I've ever had has been this fantastic that far down the line. But in terms of overall reliability, tremendously reliable car, tremendously good looking, very capable. And one year later, no major issues, no creaks, no weird noises. A lot of target top cars after some time tend to have creaky noises coming out of them. But GM has done a fantastic job with this car really buttoning it together and making sure that it's not only just reliable, but it's long term and it's in for the long haul. And I still just can't ever get over the fact that I can come to this parking lot and just get this beautiful view with the C8 and the horizon line in the backdrop. A lot of hard work went into it and I think anyone that's waiting for this car, it's a symbol to the hard work that you put in in life to get back the joys that you're looking for. And for an automotive enthusiast, the C8 Corvette, I think, allowed me to live a dream that I never really thought I could live. Nice car. Thanks. And this is kind of why I don't film in the middle of summer in this parking lot with this view is because, you know, 10 minutes now in the middle of fall and I've already had three people approach me talking about the car and pictures. That's the kind of attention that this car gets on a daily basis. And so with one year under the belt with this car, best car that I've ever owned, I think the best car that I ever will own. And for a kid that grew up dirt broke for most of his childhood to have a car like this, to experience and enjoy a car like this, it's not just a blessing, but it's just so rewarding and so much fun. And I think for anyone that's waiting for a C8 Corvette, this is the excitement and joy that you have coming to. You worked hard for this. You worked hard for this accomplishment, this milestone, and this car at the end of the day, one year later, validates all that hard work that you put in to get it. A lot of times cars like this that have this much hype around them sometimes end up falling short because it's so hard to live up to all that hype, but I think the C8 Corvette and General Motors have accomplished that so well. So with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. That enables YouTube to say, hey, people like this video, let's put it in front of more people. And the more people that it gets put in front of, the more impressions it gets, and thus the more views it gets, the bigger the channel grows. So give it a thumbs up. And just like that, with this ocean view behind me, I am out until the very next video. I look forward to seeing all of you in the comment section below.